In the northeastern United States, there has been an outbreak of a fungal growth on some bat species called white nose syndrome. This fungus has been associated with the deaths of more than a million bats since it was identified in 2006. White nose syndrome seems to affect primarily cave-dwelling insectivorous bats. It seems to be caused by a newly described fungus called Geomyces destructans. There may be other underlying causes of white nose syndrome that are contributing to the bat deaths, and those are under investigation, but for now, it looks like the fungus is the number one culprit. White nose syndrome is causing fatalities for thousands of bats that it roost in caves in the winter. It started in the Northeast in 2006 and has spread from an epicenter near Albany, New York in all directions and is moving south through cave systems. It has the potential to actually wipe out both federally endangered species of bats such as the Indiana bat and more common species of bats such as the little brown bat. The Geomyces destructans fungus thrives in the cold cave environments where bats spend the winter. It attacks the noses, ears, and wings of affected bats. Scientists theorize that the fungus irritates the bats, making them restless, causing them to burn precious fat reserves that were meant to make them last through the months of hibernation. During hibernation, bats are vulnerable, with their immune systems and metabolic systems reduced. The bats may lose up to half their body weight as they slowly use up their stored fat during hibernation. If they wake too early due to white nose syndrome, they could freeze to death or starve. Another hypothesis suggests that the fungus disrupts some of the bat's physiological functions, causing problems like dehydration, which can damage the membranes on bat's wings. If the disease continues to spread at this alarming rate, some scientific models suggest that the little brown bat, which is one of the most common bat species and one of the hardest hit by the white nose syndrome, could face regional extinction in less than 20 years. The Park Service has taken a very active role in dealing with the white nose syndrome issue. Park Service units across the country are contributing to white nose syndrome surveillance methods by allowing researchers access to park units by conducting surveys of their own, whether watching bats come out of caves or using acoustic equipment to listen for bats coming out of caves. Can this disease hurt humans? No. There have not been any reports of white-nose syndrome affecting humans. 